Okay, I've been experimenting with Boss Pack recently. It's a mod pack for Anomaly. It's been a wild experience. You can check some of my playthroughs on the secondary channel if you want. I don't know if I'm going to review it officially, but I went through the whole process of installing it. It's a little bit complicated. It's hard to find any information in English. So here's a full guide if you want to give it a chance. I'm going to provide you with all the links and everything you need in the video description, but unfortunately, it's like every mod today, you're going to have to go to the Discord for every update, every fix, or any troubleshooting if you run into issues. There's no way around it. And one last thing, there's a couple options in how you want to download Boss Pack. For this guide, if you want to follow every step exactly like me, you're going to have to download the repack of Anomaly and Boss Pack together. That's the link I'm going to provide you anyways, and you can find it here on the Discord. So when you're done downloading everything, you should have the 7 archives plus the unpacker and the fixes. So first thing you're going to do is go to your main drive. For me, it's going to be my C drive. And there you're going to create a boss pack folder. I'm going to put it in the games folder for myself, but you can leave it in the root of the drive. Just do not put it on your desktop, in your program files folders or anything like that. The root of your drive or a folder you created like games here. When your boss pack folder is created, you're going to launch the unpacker. In here, you're going to go find the folder we just created, and we're going to extract everything there. And it's going to take a while. Like you can see for me, it took almost like 50 minutes, so just be patient. When everything is done, we're going to go to our boss pack folder, where we extracted everything. We're just going to keep the boss pack folder, the mod organizer, the Python script, and the splash.png, Everything else, you can delete these files. They're useless and they're just going to be confusing if we keep them. And now we're going to create an MO2 folder in here. Next, we're going to install Mod Organizer. It doesn't really matter if you already have a copy installed. Just make sure that you install it in the MO2 folder we just created and you're good. Do not launch it when you're done installing. We have a couple things to do before that. We're going to move the Python script and the splash inside the MO2 folder. And then we're going to grab the Python script again, and we're going to move it in the plugins folder. Okay, let's go back. And now we're going to extract the fixes archive. I know it's a WinRAR archive, but try to use 7-zip. It's always best practice to use 7-zip for anything like that. Then you're going to grab everything and copy it in your boss pack 1.9 folder. We are done now with all the files we downloaded, so you can close this first window. Now we're going to go inside our MO2 folder and launch Mod Organizer. The first time you're going to start it, you're going to have to create a portable instance. You're going to go to Browse, and here we're going to go find our boss pack folder that we extracted at the beginning, the boss pack v1.9. You just click on it, do not go inside it, and go select folder. Click Next, and here just make sure that the MO2 folder is the one we just created and installed MO2 inside. So I'm just going to go to Boss Pack, MO2, just link it again to make sure, but it looks fine by default. Finish, it's going to start Mod Organizer, you click OK, you can close this, you do nothing, no, don't ask again, and here we go. Mod Organizer is going to be empty, it's normal, you can just close it for now. Okay, next, just to keep things simple, I open my boss pack folder into these two windows. We're going to do some copy pasting inside the folder so it's easier to show you this way. So first, we're going to go into boss pack 1.9 folder and then profiles. And here, I'm going to give you the translation of all this folder in the video description. I recommend to copy paste everything so you can keep track of everything that's going to happen after. So after you copy pasted the folder's translated names, it should look like this. These are MO2 profiles that we're going to use later. Then you're going to go to your MO2 folder, profiles, and you're going to copy everything in there. When it's done, go back and launch Mod Organizer. In here, you're going to go to the settings, then you're going to go to path, and the second option, the mod directory, you're going to go pick the mods folder in your boss pack 1.9 folder, the mods in all caps. You don't go inside the folder, you just select it. You click OK, yes, and here all the mods should appear in MO2, and you should also have all the profiles we copied earlier. From here, you're going to simply pick the preset you want, so you're going to have the DIC models or the HD models, and for each you have a hardcore option. Hardcore basically turns on a couple extra add-ons, like toxic air, radioactive rain, to make the game a bit more difficult, 
and you have a preset for lower end computer. Personally, I'm going to go with the standard DIC models because I've never seen them, so I'm curious to see what they look like. And right now, we're not going to touch anything else. You're going to make sure that you have the anomaly launcher selected here, and you're going to click run. You're going to pick DirectX 11 because 10 is not stable with this mod. For the shadow map, it's up to you. I like 2048. For the window mod, it's going to be full screen. The two others are not stable. It's highly recommended to have the debug mod on for this mod. Don't ask questions and just turn it on. Prefetch sound is always useful to reduce a little bit the stuttering, and the rest is pretty much whatever. AVX is only if you have an older CPU. It's recommended to always clear the shader's cache every time you change some settings, but that's the first time we launched the game, so we should be fine. And it looks like it's working, perfect. You're gonna go to the force option, that's the settings, and here you're gonna go straight to changing your resolution. And to apply, that's the first button on the left. Okay, that's much better already. We're gonna go back to the settings, then we're gonna go to the second option from the last. And here you can turn your game to English. One last thing before we start, you're gonna go to settings, visuals, advanced, and then you're gonna make sure that your SSCO mod is in SSDO. You obviously can tweak a lot of other settings, but this one is the only one that's truly important. From here, leave the game, start it again by clearing the shader's cache before. It's very important every time you change some graphical settings, and let's try. And we are good, perfect. So technically, you can start playing the game straight away from here. There's not much else to do, but there's a lot of options you can tweak in Mod Organizer, so let's go do that. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I just deciphered and translated a lot of the stuff that's on the Discord. I'm not gonna go over everything, I'm just gonna show you a bit the basics. You're gonna find a file in the video description with absolutely everything and all the options you can tweak and just experiment, pretty much. I'm not gonna cover everything, there's gonna be a lot of troubleshooting stuff to here. So if you have any issues, you should check first in this file how to solve it, and if you cannot find anything, then you should go to the Discord. I'm not going to be able to help you, I'm not going to do any support for this mod. Just go to the Discord if you have any issues. Okay, so first thing we can do is simply turn on the translation for the debug menu, so at least if you want to use it, it's going to be in English. And then, again, you do not have to change any of this, but if you want to experiment with some stuff, here or it works, more or less. The first rule is that if some add-ons have the same number in front of them, it means that you can only pick one of them. If you turn on multiple add-ons that have the same number, you're gonna break things. For everything else, you're gonna go to the text file I was talking about in the video description, and you're gonna have a description for everything. For example, the add-ins grass tricks, you're gonna have the spring setting, the summer setting, and the autumn setting. Personally, I really like the autumn look, so I'm gonna turn that one on. And again, you don't have to touch anything, and you're just gonna have the default grass and trees if you don't turn anything on. And you keep going through this file in the video description that's gonna explain to you what every add-on does, if there's some extra step like changing the mod orders, if you want them to work, and that's it pretty much, it's pretty straightforward. And if you break anything and your game doesn't work anymore, you can just go back to one of the presets. And remember that at the very beginning of the video, we installed the CPU Affinity plugin. I'm assuming it will work automatically if you have this option turned on in the launcher. But if you want to double check or simply launch it manually, you go here and you simply click on the CPU Anomaly Affinity. You're going to have to do that every time you launch the game though. It might help with performance, so just try it out. If you're not planning on using it, don't forget that you can simply create a shortcut right here on your desktop and it's going to be like much easier to launch the game from here and you don't have to go through all the folders, start mod organizer and everything. So when you're done setting up everything, if you're not using CPU Affinity, just use a shortcut to launch your game. And one last thing, I've had a lot of the busy hands bug with this mod pack, so I highly recommend turning off all the FDAA animations, especially the one for the backpack. It's very sad, you're not going to be able to see your beautiful Adidas backpack, but at least for me, it mostly solved the problem, so I recommend doing it. And I think that's it. Again, go to the Discord if you need more information, but I think we covered at least the basic. Okay, go enjoy this crazy mod pack.